being naive about things can, is the best thing you can be sometimes. Because it doesn't cloud your vision. It doesn't cloud what you think is possible. If you look at the history of technology innovation, a lot of technology innovation has actually come from the arts. Mainly because artists are, are not experts, they're amateurs. When you look at something, you can experiment with it. You look at a camera, you can experiment, what can I actually do with this camera? Can I drag it around the floor? What can I do with a projector? I can turn it on and off and create a flicker. And that's not how you're supposed to use a projector, but by doing that, you know, you can, you can create a new experience for someone. It's just it's kind of magical when you do that. The challenge is whether or not we can take the regenerative braking system of the Prius and use it in another context, in this case on a, on a roller coaster. Can we use the energy captured from the coaster's brakes to power things found in an amusement park and then simulate that amount of energy in the set we're building? There's energy to be had everywhere, and if we have the right kinds of technologies and implement it properly, you can catch it. Instead of just losing all this energy to friction, we can harvest it and put it back in the roller coaster somewhere else, or we can put it back in the amusement park or somewhere on the grid. One purpose of this prototype was to visualize that, what really is happening and how much power is happening and how do we let people understand that? Because it really is a significant technology. We didn't realize how significant it was until we sort of took apart the Prius and, and even just today measured that power to see that you know we're braking at a short speed and getting 60 amps of current. That's pretty intensive. We can do a lot of things with that. We think of this thing as kind of a big mechanical hack. So what we had decided we had to do was take as much of the components as possible and kind of transform the Prius into a coaster car without it knowing. We also wanted to keep it as simple as possible, so we ended up with a straight track with a platform that's about 10 feet tall. We expect the car to get up to about 15 miles per hour when it hits the bottom of the track, and then we'll immediately start the braking and pulling power out of it. The more we're able to harvest from regenerative braking, the better off we are. This idea is, is hopefully more generic and less specific to a roller coaster. Really, it's all about being able to utilize energy that is otherwise lost to heat. And that's part of what this project is about, I think. It's about showing that this technology is, in principle, applicable everywhere. What's exciting for us is that process of discovery, of taking something apart and figuring out how else you could use it. Like, that's the fun part. Whenever I make things and build things, I always am just so, um, so have such a desire to see it real, you know, to see it existing. The idea and the technology that's demonstrated here is very powerful. Once we inspire a generation or two more of engineers, hopefully they will learn how to do this more economically at a bigger scale. And hopefully we can get that one third of our lost energy to heat death, we can get that down to a quarter. And that will make a giant difference in our carbon footprint and our you know, reliance on foreign sources of energy and hopefully will impact our lives. Ready? Ready. One, two, three.